We had such a great time in Bonita Springs. This area is packed with tons of things to do. Restaurants, shopping, kayaking, fishing, sporting events, beaches, and some unique features that you won't find anywhere else in the United States. We put this video together to highlight just a few of the activities we enjoyed during our winter in Bonita Springs, Florida. I hope you enjoy. The climate in Bonita Springs could definitely be considered tropical. Throughout the snowbird season, you can expect temperatures from the mid-70s to the mid-80s, with lows being from the mid-50s up to around 70. Another great thing about this time of year is it's considered the dry season, with less than an inch and a half of average rainfall a month. And probably one of the most important factors is you'll definitely get your share of vitamin D, with 10 and a half to 11 and a half hours of sun a day. Let's take a look at some of the great things you can see and do around Bonita Springs, starting with the Naples Botanical Garden. The Botanical Garden is over 170 acres of tropical paradise. Their main mission is to develop and conserve plants from around the world. We were fortunate to be able to see the stickwork sculpture by Patrick Daugherty. He weaves together willow saplings to create giant outdoor sculptures. I would suggest setting aside three to five hours so you can see everything the Botanical Garden has to offer. Next, we'd like to highlight a visit to the Fort Myers Beach Christmas Boat Parade. We spent the afternoon at Bonita Bill's Waterfront Cafe on San Carlos Island. This was a unique experience for us as we have never been to a Christmas boat parade. However, down here, you'll find tons of them. Before your arrival, you should check the Barbara Mann Performing Arts Hall calendar. We did just that and caught a performance from one of our favorite classic rock artists. Be sure to get your tickets as soon as possible as many of the shows do sell out. Along with nationally touring bands, they also have Broadway musicals such as Phantom of the Opera, the Lion King, Wicked, and the list goes on. Another fun evening was spent at Congo River Golf. This is just one of many, many golf courses in this area. What kind of makes this place unique is you can feed the caiman, which are like small alligators. Don't let your entire season get away from you without a visit to the Hertz Arena and watching the Florida Everblades. For me, hockey was always a game I didn't really understand, but you show up to a few live games and you'll be a fan for life.
we had a great time this evening. We came on a Wednesday night, which was $3 beer night, but most importantly is we got to root the Everblades on to a win. And there's a really great reason why everybody down here has a kayak or a canoe, because the opportunities to use them are endless. This stretch of the Gulf Coast is also known for having hundreds and hundreds of restaurants. There are numerous places to get great Mexican food, great seafood, and how about free beer with your pizza? These are just a few of the places we visited while we were here. And don't forget, you can always go out and catch your own dinner too. You may be asking yourself why I would highlight a grocery store on great things to do in the Bonita Springs area. Well, the short answer is, because this place is amazing. I think Peg even might have found a new favorite beer. They bake fresh bread, they have a full guacamole and salsa bar, and they also make their own fresh pasta and raviolis. They have a huge area for non-food organic products, a giant cheese counter, and they also make their own fresh mozzarella. And if you like the looks of the meat and seafood department, all you have to do is take it to one of the outlets and they'll actually cook it for you at no charge. Speaking of the outlets, there's a full service restaurant and no less than three bars in this grocery store. They have an amazing produce section with fresh made salads and the way they display their produce is almost like artwork. Since we were there over the Christmas holidays, we got to see the annual gingerbread house that they make, which has over 40,000 pieces of candy and took 600 man hours to build. I think I caught someone trying to steal a doorknob too. Talk about a wine selection, this place was truly second to none. I know we really enjoyed this area and are sure to be back. So if you like this video, please subscribe and click the thumbs up button and we'll see you next time. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us online for our travel blog at Searching for Solitude. Thanks.